Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Jen here today with a very exciting topic. One of the questions I hear the most is how do I tell the quality of a tea? Well, you kind of need a very vast and solid foundation of knowledge about tea, and you need a very extensive experience in the field working with farmers and producers. Besides that, you also need tons of experience in tastings. But don't get frustrated yet, because there is a simple tool that everyone can use. It's simple, and you all have that at home. It is boiling water. So if you are interested in today's topic, just keep on watching. As I always say, good tea requires boiling water. No matter it is a green tea, white tea, yellow tea. Oolong, black, or dark tea. Good tea requires boiling water. I noticed that、um, in North America, at least,、uh, it seems that there's some、uh, implication that tea bags are bad tea and the loose leaf is good tea. But as a Chinese in China, we don't drink tea bags. So you will find thirty cents for fifty grams of Longjing on the street. Or three hundred dollars for fifty grams of Longjing. So for us, loose leaf or tea bag, the form is not what decides is good tea or bad tea. And this boiling water test comes in really handy, especially when we're trying to tell the good specialty loose leaf tea from the bad ones. Talking about boiling water, it is not hard for a tea lover to figure out that you need to brew the tea with boiling water. However, there is another way to use this boiling water test even before you purchase the tea. Imagine this with me: you are buying an expensive Bi Luo Chun, and you are told that this is the tenderest buds, the highest grade Bi Luo Chun you could ever find, and because it's so delicate, you need to lower the water temperature to brew it. Mm mm, that's the hint. If this is a really expensive tea, I suggest you reconsider your purchase or look somewhere else. Because real good Chinese tea is not afraid of boiling water. Two things I found quite interesting here in North America. One, when we talk about how different things could affect the taste of different teas, we emphasize on terroir. Another one, when we talk about Different tea requires different ways of brewing. We emphasize on water temperature. The interesting thing is, both statements are partially right. There are many ways we could influence the brewing of a tea. Lowering the water temperature is definitely one of the easiest way. As tea lovers, the only way we could influence the tea is by brewing it. And if you find your tea bitter or astringent. Don't hesitate to lower the water temperature. However, this is a compromise. This is one of a few ways we could salvage a lower quality tea. Remember, tea bag tea is also tea. It also requires different ways of brewing. You can try lowering the water temperature. Tell you a secret. My favorite Earl Grey comes from Lipton, and this is how I brew it. I will put one third of boiling water. Then add two thirds of the cold water to the tea. If you are those curious mind, here is a side by side tasting you could try at home. To prepare for this side by side tasting at home, all you need is three same size mug and three same tea bags. Method one: You will add the tea bag to the mug, adding hot water as usual and let it steep for one minute. Method two: Brew the tea for one minute. With 50 degree water. Method three: Pop the tea bag in the mug, adding the boiling water to one third of the mug for about 15 seconds. Then add the cold water, let it steep for 40 seconds. Now you're ready to try them side by side. Leave the comment below and let me know what's your thought about these three different methods of brewing tea bag teas. If you find this video helpful. Please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell beside us so that you will know when our latest video is up. Until next time, keep steeping.